Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips were subject to rigorous balcony rules at Buckingham Palace set by Princess and, when Princess and made appearances on the royal balcony, she imposed stern rules on her children. Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips. To commemorate the late monarch's birthday, Queen Elizabeth's only daughter made sure they behaved well when they joined her on the Buckingham Palace balcony. The balcony enforcer at Buckingham Palace, according to Peter Phillips, is his mother at the Queen's formal birthday celebrations. You then get a clip around the ear and say, Right, behave yourself, you know, we're going out on the balcony, he remembered in an ITV program honoring Princess Anne's 70th birthday. He went on to say, Don't pick your nose and you know, don't yawn. Despite the strict guidelines, Zara Tyndall fought back on how these times strengthened her relationship with her cousins, Prince William and Prince Harry, according to the Mirror, Princess and is portrayed as having a disciplinarian role on the well-known balcony, which is supported by historical film from Buckingham Palace. Notably, she was observed trying to quiet a fussy four-year-old Prince William during an RAF flypast in 1987, often regarded as the most diligent member of the royal family. Princess and recently shared some wisdom with Princess Charlotte by helping her with an issue that Kate Middleton had to deal with. T seems that Kate Middleton is teaching her daughter Charlotte how to manage public speaking from a young age, since she apparently found it difficult to do when she first became a royal. With help from her great aunt and the Princess Royal, nine year old Charlotte seems to be handling the demands of royal life rather well. As someone who has a solid work ethic and is devoted to her brother King Charles, and is in a good position to share her knowledge, according to Woman magazine, when Kate first started working as a royal, she had trouble switching between conversations and needed help from and, just like her daughter does now, according to an insider, Anne's training, if you will, goes beyond rank, file, and bows and calls. She has demonstrated to her not only how to strike up a conversation but also how to end one and go on without offending anyone.